All right, here we go. First time. This is the Chucky Beat production. Now the color on my screen is green. I don't know why the camera on looks like it's coming up white. Hey, bit. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. Yep. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Yes, bitch. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you have to accept. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way, you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? Now type your credentials. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. All right, you're connected. Now, we'll check for any updates. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. To set up a pin. Would you like to automatically save your files and photos to OneDrive? Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such. Okay, that's the last step. We need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. She sounds hot. All right, so it just loaded to the main Windows screen, and now I'm gonna do the updates. So it took a while, but I'd say about 20 minutes, but it's preparing to install the updates. You might as well grab a coffee and watch a movie. That's what I'm doing. Because this is taking forever. All right, now it's downloading the updates, and then it is going to install, which is going to take a very long time. So you got to be prepared. you got to set up. A few hours to a half a day for this. Okay, so if you can see on the bottom right, it's 3.36 p.m. And it's preparing to install the updates at 2%. I will update it as soon as it gets to 100 and let you know how long it takes. 4.07, this just popped up. Important updates are pending. 
The newest Windows feature update is ready to install. We need you to kick it off. With new features and apps, this one could take a little longer than other updates. Ready? Restart now. So I'm going to restart now. And I will update as soon as this whole thing finishes. Okay, so it's 427 right now. My computer just restarted. I had to type in my pin again. And after I logged in, it said we have more updates. And then I got this screen. And it said it's going to take a while. So I'm not going to record this part. I will update when it's done. Okay, so it's only took about three or four minutes. It's 432. Uh, this screen just popped up. And I installed a mouse. I have this Vixing mouse. So that's what's installing right now. Um, this OneDrive thing keeps popping up. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to check real quick if there's any more updates. Okay, so there's a security update for Adobe. I'm just going to go ahead and download that real quick. Okay, now that the updates are done, it's 435. That only took a second. I'm going to go to advanced options. I'm going to click give me updates for other Microsoft products. Now I'm going to click, we'll show a reminder when we're going to restart. I just like to know when my computer is going to restart. And then I'm going to go to sign in options. This is just personal preference. I never really take my computer or laptop anywhere. So if you've been away from your computer, when should Windows require you to sign in again? I like to hit never just because it's really annoying and it just, I don't know, I just don't like to keep signing in over and over again. Now I'm going to update the Windows Defender and make sure that's all working. Uh, you get there from update and security as well. Windows security. Okay, so I double checked and Windows Defender is actually all set up. It has all these green check marks. And from what I understand, Windows Defender has gotten a lot better. And this is basically all you need. So, I mean, why pay for a third-party antivirus uh, software when this, this does a pretty good job. And I definitely will be downloading malware bytes just because that catches a lot of uh, malware and stuff like that. Um, but right now I'm going to just set up my computer. I'm going to go to Firefox here. Then I'm going to get PC Decrapifier. De See if that works. Here we go. I'm going to download this. And there's other ways you can uh, remove bloatware, but this is probably the easiest one. So go to free download. Save file. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes. Okay, welcome. We're going to walk you through this. Click analyze. This could take a few minutes. I'm going to cut this part out. So I'm going to go to apps. And features, add or remove programs. Let's see what I could do here. Amazon, I do not need that app. Uninstall. I wish I knew more about computers so I could uninstall everything I don't need, but I am not that smart when it comes to computers. Malware bytes, maps, messaging. I'm going to keep all that. Minecraft. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's get rid of that. Movies and TV, my office, Netflix, I do not need that. 
one no paint 3d people plex plex is actually a good app um skype uh i can read down this late download this later updates voice recorder xbox oh man see this is the only thing i can probably figure out a way to uh, uninstall that but i'm not gonna get into it right now All right, so I'm just gonna clean up my desktop a little bit. I unpinned some things already. I'm just gonna unpin that. I'm gonna delete this shortcut. And I'm going to unpin a lot of this stuff. I literally never use any of this stuff, except where I might pin that down there. Unpin. Boom, 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 Xbox. Nope, 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 nope. I like the minimalist style. Oh yeah. Plain Jane. All right. Okay, so once that's done, I'm actually gonna go to a website called Ninite. Now this is basically an all-in-one uh, website for you to download a lot of applications so it's all personal preference but I'm gonna download some specific ones I'm gonna get Chrome uh, 7-zip it's probably the best one out there what else do I want K-Lite Codex Essentials I'll get malware bytes it's always good sweet get your Ninite Download will begin. Save file. Let's click that. Preparing setup. Yes, I want to allow this to make changes. All right, I'm going to stop the video because this is just installing everything. Okay, now that this is finished. I'm going to click close and we got a shortcut right here for Google Chrome media player classic that's the one I'd recommend over VLC it just gives a better picture and then I'm gonna make Chrome my default browser then I'm gonna pin it to my taskbar okay Default apps, web browser, Google Chrome. Nope. Switch anyways. Video player. I'm going to switch to MPC, baby. Okay, now I'm back in Chrome. I'm going to hit continue. And then I'm ready to go. I just got to sign into my Google account. Now that that's done, I'm going to go to notifications because there's a lot of annoying notifications that I want to turn off. I don't really need any of them. Boom, 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 boom. I don't like Cortana, all this stuff. And uh, you can go through all this stuff and, you know, customize it how you want to. I just don't like any notifications. I like to get rid of the sign on every time you shut down your computer you're going to need to enter a pin or enter a password and that's good if you don't want people fucking around on your computer but i live with my fiance nobody's going to be over here messing with my stuff so to do that i'm just going to go in here and type net pl wiz n e t p l w i z You'll see it pops up right there. And then all we need to go to is this is checked off. Users must enter a username and password to use this computer. So I'm going to 
uncheck that, click apply, and then you need to set up your password and that's it. So I just uh, typed in my password and then I exited out. I'm gonna click OK and next time you shut down your computer, if this is what you wanna do, you should, you should be able to bypass the uh, sign in. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just customize this a little bit more. So when I go into view options, open file explorer 2, I don't like quick access, so I'm gonna go to this PC just personal preference uh, that'll help out a little bit okay now that everything is done setting up my computer what I'm gonna do is create a system backup I have this uh, Western Digital um, passport external hard drive and I'm just gonna plug that in and create a backup and restore point now I want to create a system image on my external hard drive. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to control panel, system and security, backup and restore Windows 7, that's whatever, I'll do it anyways. Create a system image, looking for backup devices. external hard drive 1.5 terabytes free all right next i don't have the option to remove any of these so yes 58 gigabytes it's fine and the windows is saving the backup creating a system image and that's it that's all you have to do to save all your hard work from setting up your laptop if anything's happens you can um, restore your computer i really hope this uh, video helps um, give it a like uh, subscribe to my channel if you thought this was helpful and comment on what you would like to see next now i'm going to go to more options and i am going to go to backup now And then it says backing up your data. So I'm going to change this to daily. I think every hour is a little bit too much. And <clears throat> then I'm going to keep it um, all my backup files forever. I can go back and change it. <laughs>